Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we are back over here at Disney Springs at the Disney Springs bus stop and we are actually going to be doing another resort tour today. Today we are going to be headed to Disney's Old Key West Resort. Old Key West is one of my favorite resorts on property so I'm excited about this one and real quick before we start I want to give a shout out to my newest producer of the videos Alejandro. Thank you for supporting the channel. And all right, now let's head over to Old Key West. And we have made it over here to Disney's Old Key West Resort. This resort actually opened up back in 1991, but it was actually known as the Disney Vacation Club Resort. This was the very first the DVC resort here at Walt Disney World. Actually, anywhere, I'm pretty sure, in the world, this was the very first DVC resort. And this resort, as you can tell by the name, is themed around Key West, Florida. So you're going to find a lot of tropical plants, a lot of palm trees, and it's going to feel like you are down in the Florida Keys, hanging out by the beach. So I did take the bus from Disney Springs over here to Old Key West, but this resort is actually special. You can actually walk over here from Disney Springs or you can take a boat. Uh, oftentimes they do have a boat transportation to this resort and Saratoga Springs. So when we're here at Old Key West Resort, we're actually in the community of Conch Flats. And in this community, there's different little sections, um, which we will explore in a little bit. It's kind of similar to how uh, Caribbean Beach and Coronado is with their little sections. And when you get dropped off from the Magical Express or any Disney bus or you drive over here, you're going to be over here. This is called the Hospitality House. Over here in the Hospitality House, you've got the general store. You've also got your bell services and this is where you'll check in and i really like the theming over here uh, you really do feel like you are in the keys in florida like you got a hurricane warning right here telling you evacuate we've got some conch shells that people have found on the beach but let's take a look at what the check-in area looks like for this resort you can tell that that little check-in lobby area is different from any resort that we've really seen here at Disney World. It's very small in there. Um, it doesn't even really feel like you're at a hotel. It kind of just feels like you are going to a beach resort somewhere in Old Key West, Florida. So they do really good job on the theming. They have all kinds of decorations and little things to check out in that little check-in area as well as a bunch of seats. Then j actually just on the other side of that check-in area, we will come into the main store for uh, Old Key West Resort. This is called the Conch Flats General Store. And this is going to be your basic Disney World gift shop at the hotels. They do have some cool theming in here to go along with the resorts theme. Like check out we got some fishing nets over here. Um, but overall this is just going to be your basic store. I really do like this store though. Um, just because of how it looks. It doesn't feel like you're at a big uh, Disney World gift shop where they're trying to uh, get you to buy all kinds of things. It just feels like a, a very welcoming in here. And of course they do have old key West specific merchandise as you can find at any of the resorts all the resorts have their own little specific merchandise there's also a lot of groceries in this store because uh, old key west they have villas so there's going to be a kitchen in there where you can cook so you can come over here grab some eggs some milk and then connected to the conch flats the general store is actually the main table service restaurant here at old key west resort and it is right over here behind these doors it is called olivia's looks like the doors are closed right now but i'll talk about olivia's in just a little bit but i wanted to point out all of these picture frames that you see up here and these are actually families that are uh, members of the Disney Vacation Club. I'm not sure how they got their pictures up here, but it is really cool how these families are part of a Disney resort now. I know I saw this um, at the boardwalk. Uh, a couple families had their pictures over there, but nothing like this. But yeah, guys, that is how you get into Olivia's. It's just right by the general store as well as the check-in. They have really, really good food. I love the atmosphere in here. Um, and they have the best chicken that you can find at Disney World, in my opinion. It's right here, the southernmost buttermilk chicken. So, so good. Um, I also do like the uh, breakfast that they have here. I know that the, that the grits are very good. They have Olivia's famous grits. So this is a top tier restaurant. I think even if you're not staying at Old Key West, Olivia's is definitely worth it to come over here just to try. And then we make it to the end of this little breezeway. So we checked out all the stuff, the store, the check-in lobby area. And then we can either go right over here um, or we can go left. We're actually gonna go left because this is where the main pool is gonna be. But actually before I forget, this is actually where you can catch the boat to Disney Springs. This is where the boat transportation will be. Right now it's closed, but I'm sure 
um, very soon they're gonna open the boats back up so if you want to catch a boat to uh, Disney Springs from Old Key West this is where you'll do it and walking past Olivia's this way we'll actually run into a, a little bar that they have over here a poolside bar this is called the gurgling suitcase libations and spirits so you can basically come in here get all of the drinks that you want a nice place to cool down on a hot day and then connect it to that you've got the goods to go so this is going to be a quick service place um, but they do have a few different things different than you would normally find you can check out the menu there like I've never seen a mango rum barbecue pulled pork sandwich anywhere at Disney World before um, and they also do have breakfast so if you're hungry in the morning before you go to the park you come over here and grab some quick breakfast and then as we keep traveling down this way we will run into the conch flats community hall now this is a place they have community halls kind of in different areas at disney resorts community halls are places where you can uh, play some games in there they have like pool um, maybe like foosball you can also come into uh, places like this and do some arts and crafts so if your kids just want a place to come hang out maybe do some arts and crafts that's a cool place for them to check out you can also rent uh, basketballs in there and other things that you might need here at the resort and then speaking of renting things you can actually rent Surrey bikes here at this resort similar to some other resorts like boardwalk but you can come and rent these and take a ride around this uh, resort because it is pretty big it's pretty spread out they do also have little bikes like this um, and then on this side we've got the exercise room so if you need to uh, hit the weights while you're at Old Key West you can do it right here at the rest beach recreation department and then just like at other Disney resorts they do have some fun games to play outside like foosball or ping pong you just have to rent the paddles and the balls from the community hall and like I said there's lots of things to do around here so we got shuffleboard I don't even know how to play shuffleboard one of these days I'll learn how to play shuffleboard but um, if you want you can play tennis there's some tennis courts back here as well as a basketball court so just a ton around to do this resort in just this little area the area of the hospitality house a lot of stuff to do plus right now I'm about to show you the pool and then here we are at the main pool of Old Key West I really do like this pool it's pretty nice it's pretty big they do have a nice big lighthouse right here which actually acts as the sauna as well as a hot tub back in that area and it's it's actually a really big pool we see that there's the slide back there with the hidden Mickey in the sand castle and just like with the other resorts there is a kitty section so it's behind the sand castle slide this way this is where the kids section is where the kids can come hang out at their little splash pad so that is pretty much the whole area the hospitality house where you check in and where the most things are in the resort now let's go check out a little bit of the other parts of the resort basically where everyone is going to be staying and actually when you stay here at Old Key West these are not called hotel rooms they're actually they're actually called vacation homes because I've stayed here before and they're actually really like a home the villas actually feel like you are in a house somewhere they're really really nice but I just wanted to point this out um, Old Key West is actually located um, on a golf course it shares the same golf course as the Saratoga Springs Resort so you will find players out here playing golf you can actually uh, go play golf yourself too this is called the Lake Buena Vista Golf Course I really think that this is one of the nicest resorts as well as far as how they keep up with it with the grass and the trees and everything I mean you can see the palm trees in the back they look really really nice um, really makes you feel like you are at the beach somewhere and just like the Caribbean Beach um, I think that this is one of the most relaxing resorts um, they too have a similar vibe to it um, but over here I feel like is more relaxing because there's there honestly like feels like there's less people here um, I am coming on a, today's like a Tuesday afternoon so most people are at the parks but usually when I'm over here there's really not a lot of people there's not a lot of commotion going on over here Just, it feels very relaxing over here as I had mentioned earlier this resort is very spread out there's a lot of room to walk over here um, there's actually running trails at this resort there's also places to catch a bus um, in the different sections of this resort let's take a look at this map so we are right here sort of by the hospitality house there's gonna be different bus stops depending on where you're staying um, and these are actually going to be uh, labeled by the road which you're staying on there's no like certain section like Caribbean beach there's like Aruba Jamaica it's gonna be labeled by what road you are basically staying at right here this bus stop would be called the peninsular road and then you can catch a bus to the different theme parks and if you want to travel to different parts of the resort um, but you don't want to walk 
um, there's actually an order in which the buses go. So right here, Peninsular Road, that's the very first stop for the bus drivers. And then they'll go on to South Point, Old Turtle Pond, Miller's, and then eventually the Hospitality House. And then the Disney Springs order is just flipped. It's flip-flopped. So yeah, pay attention to this because if you come over here to the Peninsular bus stop and you want to go to the parks, just know you're going to be stopping at every single one of these before you actually head out. It might be smarter to just walk to the Hospitality House and then get a bus from there because you're going to be leaving quicker. The different vacation homes here are actually sectioned off by the building, the building number. So right here we've got 27 and then it tells you where you need to go if you're staying at other places like 30 through 56. We'll be headed this way so we can check out the old turtle pond. So like I said, I have stayed here at Old Key West. I stayed here maybe about three and a half years ago. And if you're staying with the family, if you are traveling as a large group, I would highly recommend this resort if it's in your price budget. I think it does get a little bit pricey because this is, this is considered a deluxe resort with the villas and everything. Um, but it's very, very nice. They have a big kitchen, big living room, really nice bathrooms and rooms, um, at least the one that I stayed in. But I highly recommend Old Key West Resort. There is really no distinct differences between the buildings here at Old Key West. Um, they pretty much all look very similar. They might have a different color scheme, but pretty much from the outside, they all look the exact same. And you already know that Disney goes above and beyond for their theming. Um, so if you're at this resort and you actually look down, you'll actually find some seashells uh, mixed within the pavement. So that's a cool little thing that Disney does. And I actually walked all the way back here to another section of this resort called the Turtle Shack. Um, so over here, we're gonna have the other pool. Um, it's actually a pretty decent pool for being a little side pool. They also got a playground and a quick service. So we'll take a look at that. So the Turtle Shack is located by buildings 41 and 42. And here we are, this is the Turtle Shack area so we got a pool over here we got a playground in the back over there by that blue tent um, we also have some areas to come grill so say if you brought some burgers or you want to grill up some barbecue or something you can do that over here sit on these benches fire up the grill if that's your thing they also do have another quick service restaurant right here and the turtle shack so um, also they have the buttermilk chicken sandwich at this turtle shack one uh, I believe that is the same buttermilk chicken that comes from Olivia's. Just a quick look at that menu. Sort of similar to the one, uh, sort of similar to the other quick service that we saw um, in the hospitality house. This is also where they're gonna have an arcade. It's called the Flying Fish Game Room. Right now, all arcades are closed. But yeah, guys, that is the Turtle Shack area. And actually, that's pretty much the entire resort. There's really nothing special to see um, in the different sections, the different uh, buildings. They all pretty much look the same. I showed you guys the two main pools over here. So yeah, let me know what you think about Old Key West Resort. Uh, it's a much different resort than a lot of the ones here at Disney World. It's very calm, very laid back, very spread out. And like I mentioned, this was actually called the Vacation Club Resort. It opened in 1991 and it was the very first DVC resort ever. But I really do love this resort. It's definitely in my top five here at Disney World. Let me know what you guys think. Olivia's, if you get the chance and you're over here, make sure to go to Olivia's and check it out. I'm pretty sure you will not be disappointed. All right, guys, and let me know what you think of Old Key West. Let me know if you would stay over here. And also, let me know what resort tour you want me to do next. You can leave it in the comments down below. You can message me on my social medias. Anything you want, I'll try to get to those resorts as soon as possible. But I enjoyed making the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, a like would be appreciated. If you are new, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the new videos I put out. And thank you all very much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video.